All right. So we started this class talking about the idea of models and why you want models. Uh, they could help us simplify the world. Um, they could help us make predictions. Um, they could explain things, etc. So, uh, so that's why we make models. We're going to be focusing on a few specific types of models in this course. Um, but throughout the whole course, we're going to be using this four step process, the choose, fit, assess, use process. And so I just want to talk about what each of those steps means. So choose means you're going to pick your model. And in this class, that probably means you're going to pick a linear regression model. Uh, you might pick a logistic regression, or you might pick time series. Um, and then you also need to pick what variables you're going to use. So pick your explanatory variables. And then once you've picked out the type of model you want to make and the variables you want to include, then you need to fit the model. This is probably the easiest piece. Um, we're going to do this in R. So we're going to use a computer to find the model. And so in this class, that is going to be in R. Then maybe the hardest part, or one of the hardest parts, is to assess your model. You want to see how good a model it is. So uh, we're going to talk a lot more about assessing conditions um, and looking at you know, what percentage of the variability we're able to explain. But uh, we're going to spend a lot of time thinking about assessing our models. And then the last piece, the other complicated piece, is to use your model. And so this might be interpreting model coefficients. Uh, it might be making predictions etc. So all that good stuff that is the reason why we build models. So we're going to go through that process. And uh, we have some model notation and this would work for any type of model. Um, so I'm just going to go through what each of these terms means. So why that would be our response variable. Um, in this case we're going to have f of x, that's going to be a model function. So f is the model function, x is the explanatory variable or variables. And epsilon, uh, that's the Greek letter epsilon, it's like a little um, e sort of. Those are the errors, errors or residuals. So this would work for if you were doing a linear model, a logistic model, a time series model, any kind of model, you would have some model function, which you could uh, call f of x. And we're going to start this course thinking about linear regression and specifically simple linear regression. So this is a special case of the model from the previous slide. So y is going to be a quantitative variable, quantitative response variable f, the model function, is going to be a line. So you could use the y equal you know, mx plus b kind of uh, notation, or we're going to talk about some more specific notation on the next slide. x is going to be a single quantitative uh, explanatory variable. And epsilon is still the errors or residuals. Um, I just want to take a step back and do a little review from STAT uh, 220, Intro Stat, about parameters and statistics. So if you have taken Intro Stat with me, you've seen me draw this picture many times. So there's a big uh, circle, that's the population. And then we're going to have a smaller version of the same thing, and that's going to be our sample. And the way that we make our sample is we take, you know, random draws from the population. So the sample is just going to be like a mini version of our population. Um, and our goal in statistics is to uh, move back from the sample to the population. So sort of go in this direction. That process is called inference, uh, which is drawing conclusions 
about the population based only on information from the sample. So that's the process that we're doing in statistics a lot is inference. And the way that we do that is we use some numeric quantities um, about the sample uh, to make conclusions about numeric quantities about the population. And uh, the, the numeric quantities about the population are called parameters. And the numeric quantities about the sample are called statistics. So you might think about the mean. If you were thinking about the parameter for the mean, it would be mu. That's like the Greek letter, uh, sort of like U with the long tail in the front. And the statistic would be X bar. Or you could think about sigma for the standard deviation and S. Um, so things like that. Um, so the parameters are things about the population. And they are unknowable because we never know about the whole population or very, very rarely do we know about the whole population. So that's why we're doing statistics is to draw some conclusions about the population because we can never actually know the parameters. And the statistics are things about the sample. And we can compute them from our data. So that's pretty handy. So let's do a little more notation. Um, if we are thinking about uh, these y's and x's in that function notation, the capital Y and capital X, those are uh, variables. You could think of them as random variables. Um, we're not going to spend a lot of time thinking about this sort of like random part of it. They're variables, um, but they're about the population, therefore unknowable. Um, and, and we use capital letters uh, to denote that. If we have the lowercase y and x, so these are lowercase, these are observed data from the sample. So that's our actually known variables. Um, and then we use the i subscript notation to denote a particular observation. So if we're thinking about rectangular data, then we could think of little y and little x as variables in that rectangle. Um, so y would be this whole variable and x would be this whole variable. But if we wanted to talk about a particular observation, we could call this first one y sub 1, the second one y sub 2, third one y sub 3, all the way down to y sub n. Oh, I should put this in here. Um, n is the number of observations or rows. And the same thing with x. x sub 1, x sub 2, all the way down to x sub n. And then I mentioned x bar as a statistic before. Uh, we could also have y bar, so these are the sample means. Um, so the bar uh, is mean. And the way that we could compute that, um, we've got some notation right here. Uh, so we're saying that y bar is equal to 1 over n um, times the sum. So this sigma, that's the summation symbol. Um, sum from i equal 1 up to n of y sub i. And so what that means is we're going to add y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4 or 5, 6, all the way up to the last y. Add those all up using the summation notation. And then we're going to divide by n. So that's how we take the mean. We add everything up. We divide by the number of things. Um, and then the last thing down here at the bottom uh, is y hat. And hat means uh, a fitted or predicted value. So that's a model output.